Hello, check. One, two, three, check.
morning and uh, welcome to Garwale Club of Cricket 2024. It cannot be more this. It is a beautiful surrounding where we have a clutch coming outfield. Not only the colors of the of the individual personality, people from all different age groups, people from all different cultures, but one common family that is Garwale Club. This is the and two sets of very very happy individuals. Let's start the cricket carnival. We are for this. We have very fortunate to have the chairman of the cricket committee of uh, the Garwari Club House, Mr. Mohan Singh Chaturvedi. I would ask. Complete without the blessings of the Almighty. We request uh, Mr. Sir, Mohan Singh Chaturvedi, sir, and also Mr. Bista. That is always good. The blessings of the Almighty. Hands of the ones who have been the pillars of the Garwari Clubhouse. Very rightly, the coach. Yeah, that's much better. Get more prettier and beautiful than this one. We also have a Doing the rituals along with the Vidhi. Hello, hello, hello. This is good, the, the pillar of Garwari Clubhouse and the officials wishing everyone all the best. The team in red versus the team in yellow. Fantastic conditions to play cricket, especially the conditions, the weather conditions, what we are experiencing in Mumbai. This is a paradise to play. Paradise to play some fantastic cricket. So lots of happy faces. And uh, would be and toss time it is now. It is Harshal on one side and uh, Sendil on other. So Vikings versus gangsters. Uh, this is so good from uh, the big man. Captains, yeah. Heads is the call and hits it is. Yeah. So we are going to bowl first. Yeah, bowling any particular reason generally on a ground where it actually C5 uh, on all sides chasing would be easy. You think? Oh well, uh, definitely chasing would be better because right now I can see the wicket is a little wet. 
we'll try and exploit the conditions you know while bowling first so that is the main reason also gives us time to warm up we've just traveled from bombay so you know we'll be able to warm up and feel a little better and then we'll be better starting you're absolutely the right call because i have been like almost like 20 25 tournaments i have seen the first innings has always been a tricky one the first fight and over so that's a major plus for you yes sometimes toss does help but this is cricket it's part and parcel of the game you win some you lose some so what about the venue what about the venue well this is one of the most amazing venues i don't think it makes you feel like you're in wanderers or somewhere in africa i think uh, amazing stuff mohit and company have fantastic job and i think as garwari clubs i think we are privileged to be able to play at such a venue thank you thank you so much yeah for club Cricket's always you win some, you lose some. So toss doesn't determine the game. We got to prove ourselves in both the departments. We're here to do that, and we're happy with the decision. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the main. That double. Yes, yes, yes. Win has to be. You have to get into a winning momentum. It's a two-match uh, tournament, so we got to win this one. That's it. We're 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 here to win. Two good captains. Let's see the two gentlemen of the game. How they fare? The big man. Uh, on behalf of uh, Garwale Clubhouse, uh, my office bearers, Sri Sharad Pawar ji, Honorable President, uh, Sri Cyrus Gorimar, Honorable Vice President, Sri Manish Ajmera ji, Honorable Treasurer, and the entire board of directors, my cricket committee. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to everybody out here in this fabulous ground today at the start of the GCH Cricket Carnival 2024. And uh, all those guys who are watching at home, uh, warm welcome to you. We kickstart a big uh, carnival today and uh, three weeks of action-packed uh, cricket for all the youngsters and seniors from uh, the Garware Clubhouse. Looking forward to it and uh, let's, let's have a ball. Cheers. Well said, uh, and uh, it's all in readiness for this fantastic match to begin. Can't wait more. It's going to be a cracking encounter between the captains and the two teams. And uh, the big man has wished them luck. And uh, we hope the people, those who have stayed back, have not come here, would be really regretting the fact that they are missing some on some beautiful action. I hope they would still regret that decision. Let's.
Yes. So Garwari Club House Cricket Carnival 2024. This is the first match, the inaugural match between two top teams. The gangsters are going to take on the Vikings. So, so GCH Vikings versus GCH gangsters. So it's going to be Herschel versus Srinil. The team in yellow versus the team in red. In this fantastic scenic surroundings of SPJ Lunaula, Satya Prakash Joshi ground Lunaula, seven acres of fantastic cricketing beauty. This is a place where you would like to be. A fantastic scenic surrounding, a tabletop mountain on the back, green lush outfield, a super flat batting paradise. The wicket is a beauty over here for the people to bat on. Also, the outfield, absolutely the best. So things can't get better than this. If you are a cricket buff, this is the place to be. This is the most romantic place for a cricket lover. So all that, all those attributes needed. It is almost international like. In fact, I would say slightly better than the international situations. Let's let the fun begin. Let the cricket carnival start. The players ready, umpires ready, and the umpire says play on. The very first ball, up and over it goes. One bounce into the fence. In fact, it has gone all the way. Can you believe it? That is what this ground is going to give. It's all the people, those who are circumspect about the toss, whether the ball is going to do something, whether the pitch is going to do something, the batsman has done everything. He has just put it up and over. And what a shot to begin. What a shot to begin. Mohit Chaturvedi's team is going to face the heat, but he would be very happy with the very first ball. The most important factor, the wind. He goes for it again. And six and a four. And all those thoughts of the ball doing something, the wicket being slightly tricky, the conditions, the toss. Everything going out of the window in just 20 seconds. What a way to begin. A blockbuster start to a blockbuster tournament. That's a full toss and that is hit up and over again.
this has been a great over just one run in the second over so far Oh, that's a very good ball to finish the over. What an over. Just one run in that Samit Shukla over. The score at the end of two overs check, is check. 16 without loss. So it's going to be captain versus the captain now, Harshal versus Shrinil. I beg your pardon, it is. Wanted to be a little ambitious over there, little innovative. A very good bowler, was taken for a few runs in the first over, but he knows how to make a comeback. Scored 16 without loss. That's glided straight to the fielder. So after that uh, scintillating start, the scoring has been halted by some good bowling. Samit Shukla and Harshal have taken control of the things now. The match is in parity now. It was a rollicking start for Strenil and his team. That was an invitation for destruction and the ball is running away. Will it go all the way? That is the only question. Yes, it will. Or another boundary. Janak has been dealing boundaries now. This is his third boundary along with the sixer. He moves on to 20. It. That would be the first extra of the match. 21 runs on the scorecard. We are into the third over. Janak, strike rate of almost 200. Three boundaries and a sixer for Janak. That's good bowling. That is keeping things simple, keeping things straight. Keep it straight and simple. Sometimes uh, doing the basics, all those virtues of bowling, the ball in the right areas helps out. Good bowling by the captain, Harshil Sanjay Shah. The last ball of Harshil's second over. Oh, that is like What an effort! What an effort! He almost pulled out the best catch in the very first match of the tournament. What an effort! He saved four runs, I would say that.
the score at the end of three overs is 22 without loss what an effort that was that was a flying cheetah in lonaula he almost pulled off a brilliant catch So 15 runs in the first over, one run in the second over, and six runs in the third over. So they have packed things back. So three overs and 22 runs on the scorecard. What a ball that was. Lot of, uh, oh, that's the first wicket. The first wicket of a peach of a delivery, that is Janak who has got out. Anch taking that catch and that's a very big wicket. The bat. Hello, check, check. Hello, hello. So, twenty two runs and the first wicket of Janak. Janak. Uh, Yesterday played a scintillating knock in Khalsa ground. He was doing the same stuff in Lonaula. Unfortunately getting out on a fantastic bouncer. 22 runs for the loss of one wicket. What a ball again. Simply superb Samit Shukla. What a brilliant ball that was. The man who has been really miserly, who took that first wicket, bowl, the first over for just one run, continuing the same in his second over, using all his experience. And in his beautiful scenic grounds in SPJ Lunaula, this man is uh, just like a painter with a paintbrush in his hand, bowling a wonderful spell of bowling. Oh, oh, commentators, because that's the first mistake by him. In fact, that is the second run conceded. The first extras by the man who has bowled brilliantly. Janak got off to a rollicking start. It seemed that he was in love with this ground. Once you start getting a few boundaries, it actually pours boundaries over here. It, it actually rains boundaries over here. 23 for 1. Yeah, he lets one go. Oh, that's all that has to be done. You need to punish the bad balls, but you need to show respect to some good bowling. Samit is bowling well, so why not uh, show some respect? Why not 
have a look at the pitch, the pace and the bounce and then go for your shots. It's always a double-edged sword whether to go for your shots, to preserve your wicket or to maximize the power play. So that is down. In fact, that was very close to the leg stump. It given us a legal delivery. Twenty-three for one. Just a solitary run in this over. He wanted to play the hook shot and uh, so that Check, check, check. So that's on the leg side. Good work by the wicket keeper. Saving four runs for his team. The wicket keepers generally are the ones only notice when they do a mistake. But that was a brilliant effort by the wicket keeper. Saving four runs for his team. The 28 runs for the loss of two wickets. They got off to a frenetic start, but after that, a couple of wickets down. A good comeback by... Well, that's a wide ball, and uh, that will help the scoring. The score will move on to... 29 runs for the loss of two wickets. The young man... Such a young fellow. And Hitesh Shah, sir, is he playing for some league? Yeah, from the appearance, seems to be a very top class batter. And we'll just have the updates of what exactly Kian is. That's beautifully bold. Kian, of course, is selected for the under-14 Mumbai cricket team. So we have a player who has been representing the highest caliber, the highest competitive game in that age group. To be selected in that under-14 Mumbai team is an achievement in itself. And the youngest man of the tournament That's beautifully bowled. That's a good ball to end the over. So Anch bowling his Anch bowling his first over, one over, six runs, and a wicket to his credit. The score at the end of five overs is 29 for the loss of two wickets.
Garwari Club House Cricket Carnival 2024. Special thanks to Shri Sarachandra Ji Pawar, Honorable President Shri Sairesh Gorimar, Honorable Vice President Shri Manish Ajmer, Honorary Treasurer Shri Mohit Ji Chaturvedi, Chairman of Cricket Committee, Shri Kamlesh Sangvi, Vice Chairman Cricket Committee. So Mohit's here, Mohit sir is here and his, his team is doing a great job after that initial setback. These guys have come back strongly. It's going to be a fair contest now. Uh, Samit Shukla would continue his good work. What a fantastic bowler he has been for his team. Uh, went for it. He went for it. The idea is clear now. They want to expedite the scoring. They want to maximize the power play. What a shot that is! And uh, there is protection over there, but the idea was right to hit the ball in that area. But the field placement has been right. See what anticlimax this innings has been. The first over went for 15 runs, and after that, in the next 4.4 overs, they have managed 15. So 15 runs in the first six balls, and uh, in the next four and a half balls, four and a half overs, just 15 runs. Thirty runs on the scorecard. The last ball of the power play. A bouncer to finish a fantastic uh, three-over spell. Will he come back? And uh, one more ball to go, sir. One to go. A wide to take the score to 31. Samit's figures have been sensational. 2.5 overs, 4 runs and a wicket to his name. What great numbers for this man. He has come all the way from Mumbai to Lonaula and is having a great time. This is brilliant from uh, Samit Shukla. Simply outstanding. Three overs, one wicket, and just four runs. This is, this is not some uh, football or soccer schools I'm talking about. It is not Argentina versus France. It is, in fact, in, these are, in fact, the figures of Samit Shukla. Three overs, 
four runs and a wicket for him. Brilliant spell by the experienced bowler. And uh, Harshal and Mohit would be really satisfied, in fact, elated with Samit Shukla's performance. What a comeback by the team in red. The first six balls, they were taken to cleaners. And the next five overs, the same number of runs what they considered in the first six. This is a comeback of sorts for the team in red. But the team in yellow, after Janak's dismissal, they have to think of plan B now. They need to score some runs. Oh, that's nicely run. That is what is to be more taken care of. The runs aren't coming in boundaries. The strike has to be rotated. It is a 20 over encounter and uh, we need to see some quick runs. Oh, that's brilliant bowling by Wanch. He's bowling his second over. He has conceded seven. He has got a wicket against his name. Garwari Club House Cricket Carnival 2024. Special thanks to Sri Sharachandraji Pawar, President of Garwari Club House. Sri Shairas Gorimar, Honorable Vice President. Sri Manish Ajmera, Honorable Treasurer. Sri Mohiji Chaturvedi, Chairman Cricket Committee. Sri Kamleshji Sangvi, Vice Chairman Cricket Committee. Oh, what a shot by the young man. Uh, that is his first proper connection, actually. That can happen at young age when he's expected to perform. And uh, finally, he gets one of the middle of the bat. The score with that single will move on to 33. They need to find out ways to expedite the scoring now. The first over was a mad, mad over after that. He's going for it. Look at the pace on the ball. Once is generating some real raw pace. And that is always appreciated. And uh, every time the bowler comes in and bowls very hard lengths and also tries to put everything into the delivery, it is a spectacle to watch. Once is giving his everything. Not easy to bowl those quick deliveries. Not easy to bend your back and bowl your 100% every time you take the ball in your hand. That is some quick pace, but using the pace, field protection. Oh, that is brilliant running. All. It was a good. In fact, it is a no ball. No ball for overstepping, and that would be the first free hit of Garwari Clubhouse Cricket Carnival. So, a license to thrill, a license to kill, and a license to get the boundary of the first free hit of. GCH 2024. Oh, that's very well bowled. Taking care of that free hit. He has not allowed him to go for that big shot. The score remains on 36. Two down and 36 runs on the scorecard. Wunsch has given his everything except for that no ball which he has bowled. He has been immaculate with his line and length. More importantly, so much pace. Oh, that is slashed and that will run away. In fact, there is protection. The, the skipper of the team has done a fabulous job of getting his people at the right place at the right time. This is good field placement. So the score moves on to 38 with that brace. 38, 38 for the loss of two wickets at the end of seven overs. 
Garwari Club House Cricket Carnival. This has been a festival of not only cricket, this has been a festival of getting people together of different age groups, different cultures, but under the same family, under the same roof. These are the branches of those very strong roots which are there in Garwari Cric Cricket and Garwari Clubhouse. So, 7 overs and 38 runs. Special thanks to the top brands which are associated with this tournament. KYYA Jewels, the Sani Brothers, KS Counselors, your mental well-being partner. All these three top brands associated with this tournament. We are thankful because uh, this is a premier tournament. This is a tournament which has great tradition, which has great discipline and which actually sets example for others. It's not just playing cricket and having fun, but it is making new friendship, getting the old friendship bonds stronger and just collecting some wonderful experiences. That is what this tournament's always. And at times, for some people, some new business opportunities as well. So you never know. That's beautifully played by the young man. Getting on top of the ball, that takes some good uh, proper technique and uh, practice. That was very well played by the young man. The score moves on to 39. It is that phase of the match where things are just going in motions. You might just see the captain explode any time. That is what is expected of him. But he needs to stay there, staying there. Oh, that's nicely turned away. They take the first one quickly. Will they go for the second? The captain and the young man has been prolific when it comes to running between the wickets. And uh, they take a brace again. That is the third brace they have taken in the space of last five balls. Two down and 41. The runs aren't coming in boundaries, but they are running really well. It is up to the skipper to take care of scoring now. Shrenil is taking things in his own hands. He's putting his hand up. He goes for the big one straight to the fielder. Confusion. The young man is in trouble. He just dives and saves his wicket. That is brilliant from the young man. That is how you should be prizing your wicket. It is not something to be given away that easily. And uh, his teammates would appreciate his great effort but would like some quick runs from the young man as well. That's outside the off stump. The umpire would just declare it as a wide. They are bowled with a lot of discipline. Very few bites in between. Two down they are for 42. Remember, these guys not only play cricket, they play a variety of sports. 43. That is beautifully played, right getting on top of it. The running between has been a problem with the young man and the captain. But they will soon sort it out. They do. They must be speaking the common language, maybe Gujarati. I think uh, things have to be sorted out now. 2 for 44. Srinil, he seems to be determined to give them a good start. Srinil goes downtown and just one run. But he's getting out the middle of the bat. And once Srinil does that, it's going to be great signs for the, the team Vikings. Gangsters. They have begun like gangsters, actually. They came back strongly. After being beaten in the first over, they have come back strongly. He wanted to play the flick shot, uh, missed it completely. And Leg Weiss will take the score to 46. Shainil Shah is on 13. Kayan Shah is on 3. The strike rate is a concern, but they, they should be taking care of it once the innings proceeds. Janak was looking so good, unfortunately getting out. And that hook shot of his was something which was the reason for his downfall. Janak, I just saw him in a couple of days back where he played on the grounds in Matunga. He was sensational. 17 ball, 41 he got and uh, it was a very entertaining and enterprising innings. And he started off in the same fashion today here in SPJ Lonaula. This beautiful seven acre 
cricketing paradise where it is being surrounded by some fantastic natural surroundings. We have uh, the Takwe village, that mountain on the rear side. Also, we on the left hand side, we have uh, Ekvira Mata's temple and uh, Wet and Joy amusement park right to the opposite end where the umpires are standing and Kamshet on the right. So, four different directions, four wonderful places to visit. Well, that's a full toss. That is handled really well. That's a no ball. The umpire just signals it as a no ball. The umpires, the officials for this match, Mr. Amit Sir Salvi and uh, Samir Sir Dirwani. So, top officials for this uh, Match also we have uh, an IPL scorer in Manish Singh and uh, ProLink, the official broadcasters. He has gone for the big one. There is protection in that wideish long off. Just a solitary run that will take the score to 47. Two wickets down, 47 runs. They are getting the hang of it now. Now every ball is being accounted for runs now. This is what is expected minimum. And Kayan, who's Strike rate is a concern. He might take care with some smart shots. The young man can be very, very deceptive. Oh, that is a single, a single that will take the score to 49. In fact, 50, 50 up for the Vikings. That small little achievement, every small little achievement has to be celebrated. And that is what is a sign of a good team. The Vikings, 50 runs on the scorecard. The scoring is not an issue. They have lost two wickets. Janak's wicket was a crucial one. Oh, that is Hammer. That's the captain on show now. He hammers it into the mid-wicket cow corner region for another boundary. The captain has set the foot right now. He wants to expedite the scoring. He wants to take the responsibility on his own shoulders. He got a difficult ball. Actually, it was a low full toss, but he handled it well. Not easy to hit full tosses from the quick bowlers. But uh, he hammers it for a boundary. The score moves on to 54. He goes for it this time, uh, trying to attack every ball. The idea is to get as many runs for the team as possible. A selfless act by the captain. And he's put, trying to put the foot on the accelerator. Enough of those driving on that SV roads and those uh, congested roads. Now he's on to the Atal Setu. He's going for those big shots. That is what is more important than anything else, the intent. The word intent is more important than anything else. If you have the responsibility on your shoulders, if you want to do well for your team, that is more than sufficient than your proper technique or talent or whatever it is. That intent is more important. And both the batsmen now looking for runs. Play and miss again. This is what they should be trying to avoid. The dot balls are the ones which create pressure. The score at the end of over number 9 is 2 down and 55 runs on the scorecard. GCH Vikings, GCH Gangsters, GCH Sharks, GCH Scorpions, GCH Wolves and GCH Tigers. The Vikings, the Gangsters, the Sharks and Scorpions are here today. And they are going to have a sizzling Saturday. And tomorrow, for the scintillating Sunday, the Wolves and Tigers are going to come, I think. No.
Oh, that is hit down the ground. They take the first one quickly. That is hit in between. Oh, that is brilliant running from the young man. That quick young legs. Oh, in fact, that's going to be close. The direct hit resulting the dismissal of the young man. What a good throw that was. It was a rocket throw from uh, the cow corner region to dismiss. And the third wicket down. And who was the fielder over there? What a fantastic throw that was. It was almost 60 meters and from there where he got it right. And uh, on the bounce, he dislodged the stumps and they get their third wicket. Abhijit, what a good rocket throw that was. It was a guided missile which hit the target. Unfortunately, Kian gets out in this match. Take my word, this man is going to come back strongly in the next encounter. It's not how you begin, it's how you finish is more important. And uh, this first outing may not have been that fructifying. Take my word, this man is going to come back strongly. And these are early days for the 13-year-old young man. But uh, he'll come back in the second match. Garwari Clubhouse Cricket Carnival. 2024. Special thanks to Sri Sharachandri Ji Pawar. Honorable President of Garwari Cricket, Garwari Clubhouse, Shri Cyrus Bhai Gorimar, Honorable Vice President, Shri Manish Bhai Ajmer, Honorable Treasurer, Shri Mohit Bhai Chaturvedi, Honorable Chairman of Cricket Committee, Shri Kamlesh Sangvi, Vice Chairman, Cricket Committee. Oh, that's how you start after a break. A fantastic boundary to take the score to 60 for the loss of three wickets. This is what is expected now. They need some momentum in the scoring and that boundary is definitely going to help them. The gangsters are doing everything right. Vikings, they are going to find a way to get out of this and that boundary is going to help them. Straight to the fielder. But this is great batting by the captain. Shanil trying to get his team right back on track. He has played a good knock. 24 runs for Shanil. Oh, that is beautifully played. What a shot down the ground. And fantastic work. This is what you can do on this ground. You can slide, you can dive, you can stop those balls from going over. That was a fantastic slide and save two runs. 
but what a good shot by the captain he is showing clear intent he has one thing in his mind runs runs and only runs there is no other get away you need to score those runs that is smartly played that is just tapped for a single will he come back? yes that is what fresh legs can do brilliant running that is he had no right to get the second run over there he ran ran beautifully to get a single being converted into a second that is what is needed of fresh legs three wickets down 63 runs on the scorecard we are going to see some great cricket in the next few overs down the leg side the umpire declares it as a white the score moves on to 64 Oh, that is smartly played. The ball is racing away. Will it go all the way? That is the only question. Good work by the fielder at third man. He moved swiftly towards his left and stopped a boundary. A couple of runs added to the total. The score moves on to 66. 66 for the loss of three wickets. On one end, we have a batsman who wants to hit boundaries with strong shots. That is Shreinil. The other man, Neeraj Dalal, is slightly smarter. He wants to use the pace of the bowler and maximize the scoring. But both the ways, very effective. 66 for 3 at the end of the first half of the first innings of the first match of Garwari Clubhouse Cricket Carnival. This is a festival. It started off with firecrackers. But soon, those firecrackers were silenced by some great disciplined bowling. So that's what we want to see. Attack, counter-attack, and still the same synchrony happening again and again. That is what we call as a contest. Right now, things are in parity. Shainil is set over there. Shainil is all determined to take this score to 160, 170. If Shainil stays there for five overs, you can get some good score. They have some good batsmen also in the team. So 150 to 160 will be there on their mind. Shainil goes for the big one, hammers it down the ground. One thing certain for this outfield, it's going to be super quick and the best part, no bad bounce at all. It is almost a carpet. It is almost a billiards table which is set in a peripheral way, in a circular way. A fantastic ground, almost 65 meters boundaries on all sides. That's a legal delivery and uh, all those virtues of bowling outside the off keeping the ball in the right areas, working out really well for the bowler this time. But that is beautifully bold. This is good bowling uh, by the bowler. From the first two balls, what he saw, he was using the pace of the bowler, gliding the ball in that third man region. He has pitched it up, just playing against the strength of the batsman, trying to play on his own terms. That is smart bowling from Vivek. Bowling is second over, conceded 10 runs. That is good bowling. Oh, three balls in a row he has created. Was he for his appeal? Umpire is unmoved. Very experienced umpires and uh, known for their good rapo, good decisions. This is a treat to watch now. Two batsmen who are on look out for runs and the bowler who has bowled three brilliant balls on the trot. Oh, Neeraj Dalal has been kept quiet. So four dot balls in a row. Brilliant by the bowler in the 11th over. Vivek versus Neeraj Dalal.
turns it away. Oh, he, he slipped, but he maintained his composure to stop that one from going over. The score with that single moved on to A68. And all these guys, uh, they are not the ones who play their cricket regularly. They play so many other games also. They are busy with their own careers, their own profession, their own businesses. So don't expect them, everyone, to be like an uh, international or a Ranji player. We are here to have fun. We are bound to make mistakes. And only when you drop catches, make misfields, and uh, maybe ball some bad balls and play some rash shots, there is where you are going to enjoy. Ma catches are meant to be dropped at times. Otherwise, there won't be any fun. Every catch, if every catch is to be taken, the team might get all out in the fifth or the sixth over. And the best part about cricket is people don't say catch chhod gayi. They always say catch chhod di. Nobody drops catches on pur uh, on purpose. The catches are dropped, not purposefully dropped. They get dropped. So 67 runs on the scorecard, 11 runs, 11 overs done and dusted, 68 in fact. Abhishek comes into bowl. Neeraj goes for that big booming cover drive straight to the fielder. The field placement has been absolutely immaculate by the captain. Herschel has got it absolutely right. 68 runs on the scorecard. We are into the 12th over. Again, the action replay of the previous shot. This is a ground where you'll get full value for your shots. You need to find those gaps, but... This is brilliant from Abhishek. One, two, three dot balls against Neeraj. And that is a slog sweep straight to the field. Up. Oh, he juggles it. He almost had it. And uh, how did it pop out? That only question can be answered by the fielder himself. He had it covered almost 99%. Just popped out his hands at the last moment. He just did beautifully. Just had to seal the deal. Uh, unfortunately, slipped out. That is beautifully carved straight to the fielder. Again the field, the good shots going straight to the fielders. So there has to be two parameters in it. Either the field placing is good, brilliant, or the shot making has to be slightly better. They need to find those gaps. 70 runs, the last ball of the 12th over. He goes for that slog sweep again. They take the first one quickly. And uh, no bad bounce. That means it's going to be just a single. A very good over comes to an end. Just three runs in that over. Three dots and three singles in Abhishek's over. Three for 71. The score at the end of 12 over. The, the scoring rate again has come down below six. The team in yellow needs somebody to have a blast over there. They need a small cameo of 15-20 runs of just 9-10 deliveries. More often than not, more than the bigger 50s or 30s or 70s, the small little cameos of 20 runs, 17 runs, 15 runs are the ones which make or break the game. Uh, that is beautifully turned away for a single. Uh, Shrenil is on uh, Shrenil is on 27. So that is just three short of what he is uh, permitted to play. So other batsmen would be ready. But he can come back after the 14th over. Uh, that is carved. For a single, a single that will take the score to 73. 
Oh, Neeraj goes for a big shot. That's a great, fantastic shot. What a stop that is. What a great stop that is. That was simply outstanding. And he has saved a certain boundary. That is what this ground will allow you to do. Slide, stop, dive and stop those boundaries from going over. Fielding has to be a pleasure on this ground. It is a green bed. Wanted to hit it in the offside. The ball has gone on to the offside. That is a shot. He has been... Oh, good stop, sir. Good stop. A single that will take the score to 76. So players from all different age groups, players from different backgrounds, players from uh, different professional careers, players from uh, the different localities, they're coming together to enjoy their most favorite game. That is last and that will... Uh, Go straight to the fielder. Good work by the fielder. And that's it. His 30 runs. That is what the permissible limit is. Shanil, after a substantial knock, has to come back. And he can come back after an over when the wicket falls, right? So good hand by the captain. He was the lone warrior over there in those difficult times. The captain has done his job. He could have gone hammer and tong on every ball. Instead, he makes caution with aggression. And uh, what's going to happen in the next few overs will decide what the fate of this match is going to be. It's not how important you start. Your game is made or broken only in the end. Remember, Unmuk Chand and uh, Travis Head started in the same year, 2012. Both of them were under-19 players. Travis had lost the finals. Unmuk Chand won the finals. Unmuk Chand is nowhere. And Travis had won, has won the World Cup. Travis had has won the Test Championship for the team Australia. But that's what is more important. It's not how important how you start, how you finish. So the finish is still in the Vikings' hand right now. Gangsters are doing everything possible right That's nicely bold, using his jile, using his fingers to create that magic. Abhishek had bowled a very good first over, he's continuing the same stuff in the second. That's beautifully bold, equally well played. Just keeping it straight and simple, K-I-S-S, -S, the old management mantra of keeping it short and simple. Cricketing wise, keep it straight and simple, K-I-S-S. -S. That's brilliant bowling. He bowled three balls on the trot. Dot deliveries in the previous over. He's doing the same thing. He could not be allowed to do that. He should be taken. He continues with his great bowling. He is bowling a dream spell over here. Abhishek's great work continues, his fingers doing the magic on this scenic, beautiful ground. If you are a nature lover, you have to be a nature lover. If you are a cricket lover, this is where you will fall in love with. This is the place you would like to visit again and again. Straight to the fielder. This man is at its absolute best. What an over. The first medan of the Garwari Clubhouse Cricket Carnival that is bowled by Abhishek. Brilliant by the spinner. And the chairman of the cricket committee, Mohit Chaturvedi, would be really proud because it is the bowler from his side who has done the job. But Shrenil, he would say, I'm going to come back. Uh, 
A special thanks to all the top brands which are associated with this tournament. KYY, Ajuels, the Sani Brothers, KS, the counselors, your mental well-being partners. All these three top brands, uh, thank you so much for being associated with this wonderful tournament and making this tournament even more colorful. It's a great mixture of uh, some modern uh, cricket and also some traditions which are taken care of. He wanted to play the flick shot. Somehow the scoring has just halted. One big boundary and the runs are going to flow again. Janak and Shainil must be kicking themselves. They would love to come, go to that center wicket and have some fun. This is the ground where you would love to bat. Once you get set in, you will get those big scores. He wanted to hit it in the extra covers. The ball has gone straight down the ground. And that is what they need. They need some em emergency in urgency in running. And that is what converting a single into a two. That is what is more important. If you are not getting the boundaries, you should be putting out the hard yards and converting the singles into the doubles. 79, often a difficult route. But uh, you need to work hard when the going gets tough. 79 runs. You need a good score for a first match. The inaugural match of... GCH 2024. That was way too wide. The umpire stretches his arms and declares it as wide. 80 runs on the scorecard. It's almost like the floodgates of the dam. Once you start getting one or two boundaries, you'll get a loads of them. Ask Janaksha. He would tell you that. That is what is more important. You go for it and you will get it. And that's the boundary. Most important word is the intent. You try for it. You swing your bat. And when you play for your mates, when you play for your team, when you play for your brothers and the friends which whom you know every day your power your talent everything manifolds actually you are a three times a player what you are and that shot accentuating the fact that if there is intent there are runs to be taken 84 runs on the scorecard this ground this wicket is an absolute belter That's nice. nice. You, after that ball being hit for a boundary, everything goes off the middle of the bat. That is what the secret is. If you're confident, you're bound to be successful. If you want to be successful, you need to be confident. It's almost cyclic. Confidence is the most important aspect of your game. 3 for 85. All of a sudden, the floodgates have opened. After that maiden over, things have changed. And the chairman of the cricket committee... He is having a nice time. He does not want to feel now, sir. All those perks are being at the right at the top, sir. The tall man with big responsibilities has to look out for many things. That's nicely played. That is beautifully driven into the covers and they take the first one. Runs are of paramount importance. The only objective while batting is to get runs. Get runs at any cost. 86 runs on the scorecard. Watch out for the matchman on strike. He is in some good mood now. He is trying to score a few runs for his team. Oh, that is beautiful. What a shot that is. That is racing away. A great effort. What an effort. This young man is almost like a commando on the border. Anything towards his right, towards his left, straight on, center. He is there to protect it. It is almost like the wall of Kumbalgad. What a good stop that was. The score at the end of this over is 88 for the loss of three wickets. So the last 30 balls of the first match of the first innings of GCH Cricket Carnival 2024. 
So the flags which are hoisted, the color is there to be seen, yellow and saffron to be precise. So yellow is the color all around the ground, yellow is the color in the center. The umpires are also in yellow attires. So that can be a suggestion. Things are on your side now. Shanil, things can change. Janak would have a different opinion. And another wicket down. Shanil, will he go back again and uh, do that stuff for his team? Will he be the man Friday on this Saturday? Will he be the Sankat Mochak on this Shaniwar? Let's see whether he continues with his good batting. Oh, that is brilliant bowling by Abhishek. This man is a monster when it comes to spin bowling. 2.1 overs, 3 runs, 1 maiden and a wicket to show for his good bowling. Just as he was trying to go for runs, he, a very good batsman getting out. Unfortunately, the left-hander was facing an off-spinner who was at his prime in bowling. So 88 for 4, Abhishek, how miserly this man is. Almost like the soul, uh, Sahukars, the money lenders of the past, who are very miserly. He goes for the big booming drive, a single to take the score to 89. Abhishek has been the thorn in the flesh of the opposition. Figures look absolutely astonishing. Just when you thought... That's his first bad ball. That's a wide and that's going to help the batting team. They need a lot of this. All extras are welcome. Oh, he goes for the slog sweep. Will it go all the way? That is the only question. One bounce. Into the fence it goes for a very hell hit boundary. Neeraj Dalal is putting his foot on the accelerator. He has moved on to 23 with that fantastic slog sweep. Almost Steve Wall like. Steve was the batsman who actually mastered this stroke. He used to hit it long into the audience. This was nicely hit. Just short of the rope. That was one of his better shots. 94 runs the score moves on to. That is some smart batting, just uh, rotating the strike. Not every ball is going to go for a boundary. To consolidate an over after that boundary being hit is more important. The 91 runs on the scorecard. Abhishek is also a man handle now. He is taken for a few runs now. Two balls remaining in Abhishek's third over. That is beautiful hit. The ball is swirling around, curling around. And uh, it has curled straight to the fielder. He had to absolutely do nothing. The ball curled back to his position. Two runs added to the total. The score moves on to 97 with that brace. So Abhishek, he has been taken for a few runs now. 
That is slashed and up and over it goes. Will it go all the way? That is the only question. The ball is curling along, swirling around this time. Oh, that is good teamwork, good tag teamwork. And they save a couple of runs in uh, that uh, coalition of the two fielders. Fantastic. So a coalition of two fielders stopping that boundary from going over. In today's world, when the political parties 5566 five, come together, two of a kind coming together is accepted widely. 99 for 4. At the end of 16 overs. 24 balls remaining. 35, 40, whatever comes would be welcome. That can happen in the morning match. The matches in the afternoon are the ones, in fact, the evening matches are the ones which are high scoring ones. There is a time gap of four matches on this ground. Here we would be having the time slots of the first two matches in the morning. But if you happen to play under lights on this ground, it is just something else. But to be preferable, the day timings are much better because you can see and enjoy the surroundings. And also some hot weather at times can be a test for your fitness as well. A wonderful hit. The ball is swirling around. Good stop. The score moves on to 100. 100 up for the Vikings. A small little achievement. And Vikings would take pride in getting the first 50, the first 100 of the tournament. Also hitting the first ball for a sixer of the tournament. Oh, that's great work by the wicketkeeper. He has not put a foot wrong. In fact, in the very first over, the way he kept wickets... It's really commendable. 100 runs on the scorecard. That is nicely bowled. Nice hit. Straight to the fielder. The first run every time has by default has to be taken quickly. 101. Still 21 balls to go. He wanted to go for a Glenn Maskwell switch hit. He's on 25 Neeraj. So we would have two possible big shots in store. Went for that big slog sweep again. This time just a solitary run. This has been a great over by Nikunj. Just two runs. In fact, three in his first five. That's nicely hit. They take the first one quickly. In fact, just a single. What an over. This has been the 17th over of the innings going for just four runs. The gangsters would be really proud of what they're doing. Vikings, they have to think, plan, strategize and act slightly in more aggressive way. Last 18 balls remaining of the first innings. Hundred and three runs on the scorecard. Four down. 103 runs on the scorecard. Garwari Clubhouse Cri Carnival 2024. Special thanks to Sri Sharad Chandraji Pawar, Honorable President of uh, Garwari Clubhouse. Sri Cyrus Gorimar, Honorable Vice President. Sri Manish Bhai Ajmer, Honorable Treasurer. Sri Mohit Chaturvedi, Chairman of the Cricket Committee. Shri Kamlesh Sangvi, Vice Chairman, Cricket Committee. Also the entire committee of the manager, the management committee and the Cricket Advisory Committee. Thank you so much for uh, putting this together and uh, selecting such a good venue and having great time over here in the SPJ Lonaula.
and that's a big hit into the covers and that is a boundary he did everything right but wasn't able to hold on to that and that's a boundary which will take the score to 107 and shrenil is continuing with his good effort he is slashed it beautifully and uh, this might just prove very expensive that was difficult the ball was check 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 so 118 for 6 is what the score is neeraj dalal after playing a very good knock is out 118 for 6 now we are into the penalty minute over the 19th over he goes for the big one and uh, straight to the fielder at wide is long on for a single score moves on to 119 now 119 for 6 the last over of the innings 19.1 overs 119 for 6 abhishek a brilliant spell by him 3.1 overs and just 15 runs he has got a wicket to show for his good bowling first two overs he just conceded four and he was slightly expensive in the third over and a single that will take the score to 120 now they need to add runs now they need to add runs they need to get runs from any source now this is the time todo fodo or jodo time for make or break 120 four balls remaining goes for the big one quick work by the wicket keeper but the batsman was well inside the crease the wicket keeper has done a great job all throughout the innings very rarely he has put a foot wrong but time for them to get at least one boundary in the next three balls just to take the score closer to 130 garwari club house uh, cricket carnival 2024 special thanks to shri sharad chandra ji pawar honorable president of garwari club house shri cyrus gulimar honorable vice president shri manish bhai ajmera honorable treasurer That's a good hit down the ground. They should be running the first one quickly. That's the basic rule. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. A few days back, I covered a match of veterans, sixty-five, sixty-four, fifty-seven, fifty-eight run year olds running so fast. More important than anything, your desire. Oh, that's beautifully bowled. Abhishek is bowling a gem of an over. You see, pace bowlers bowling the last. Overs, the death overs. This man is bowling. The spinner is bowling. The last ball. That's a very good hit. Yeah, running between the wickets. Yes, they are going for the second one. They need to take all the runs which are available. There is a possibility of a third, but no. The score. One, two, three, four, six at the end of the stipulated twenty overs. And take this occasion to thank our. sponsors the top brands which are associated with this tournament kyy a jewels the sani brothers ks counselors your mental well being partner thank you so much for all of you for being a part of this wonderful tournaments today we have four teams participating on this ground the gcs viking gcs gangsters gcs sharks and gcs scorpions the management committee the cricket advisory committee thank you so much for getting this tournament together and on this wonderful grounds this is an exhibition so we have an ipl score don't worry he has covered four ipl matches so far so he won't be doing a mistake you can take my word on him he is a pretty good one
Yes, the Vikings are on to their defense of 123 runs. 1 to 4 is what the target is. And the gangsters have done a good job of uh, controlling them and uh, not allowing to go above a score of 1 to 5, 1 to 3. It is an achievable target. But new conditions, the wicket might be slightly tricky as some of the batters feel. Let's see what's it's going to happen. Will the team in yellow celebrate? Or the team in red be the one who registered the first win in GCH Carnival 2024. This tournament is proudly sponsored by KYY Jewels, the Sunny Brothers, KS Counselors, your mental well-being partner. So Karan Saveri and Amit are the two opening batters, number 14 and number 45. So Amit, no doubt, who his favorite player is. Number 45 on his back. And number 14 is Amit. Fakaran. No special thanks to Shishra Junji Pravar, uh, President of uh, Garwari Clubhouse, Sri Cyrus Gorimar. Honorary Vice President Shri Manish Bhai Ajmera, Honorary Treasurer Shri Mohit Bhai Chadruvedi, Chairman of Cricket Committee Shri Kamlesh Sangvi, Vice Chairman Cricket Committee, the Management Committee and the Cricket Advisory Committee for their wholehearted support and uh, they say where there is a will, there is a way. In fact, they had the will, they had the way, they were just wanted to make it more prettier and, uh, and uh, even to remember and all those memories to be treasured, that's the reason this beautiful venue, this portrait, this landscape of some beautiful, cricketic, fantastic artistry over here. It is almost like an artist with the paintbrush in his hand, sketching the dream ground for the cricket buffs. So let's see whether the gangsters are over to overhaul and... Uh, just uh, stamp their authority on this tournament and start off the tournament with a big win. It's going to be Harshal or uh, Shalin who is going to be smiling at the end of the next 20 overs. Chali, you see that in the next 20 overs, how do you get a game? You see, when you have less runs to defend, your fielding is very important. How do you get a game? गेंदबाजी कैसे होती है इस पर खास नजर होगी जब आपके पास कम पूंजी हो तो उस कम पूंजी में अगर आपको अपना बिजनेस खड़ा करना हो उस कम पूंजी में आपको आपका घर चलाना हो तो उसमें आपको ज्यादा मेहनत तो लेनी पड़ेगी खर्चे कम करने पड़ते हैं और आपको पैसे बचाने पड़ते हैं वैसे ही यहाँ पर भी आपको अच्छी गेंदबाजी करनी पड़ेगी कम रन देने पड़ेंगे और ज्यादा से ज्यादा विकेट चटकाने पड़ेंगे तो देखते कौन सी टीम इस प्रतियोगिता की पहली जीत दर्ज करती है एक तरफ है हर्षल एक तरफ है शलिन ये देखते हैं कौन सा कैप्टन ये विजय पता का यहाँ पर हासिल करेगा 124 रन्स टू विन इन स्टिपुलेटेड 20 ओवर्स रन रेट ऑफ एक्जेक्टली 6.2 रन्स पर ओवर नीडेड फ्रॉम योर ऑन ओ दैट इस अ वेरी गुड फर्स्ट बॉल फिश राइट ऑन द स्पॉट पहली गेम बिल्कुल सटीक लेंथ सटीक लाइन और बिल्कुल अच्छे गति से डाली हुई है, सो सही गति है, सही दिशा भी है और जो गेंद फेंकी थी, उसकी लेंथ भी काफी अच्छी। सो हल्के हाथों से खेल दिया है, ये जो दूसरे बल्लेबाजी करने वाली टीम के पास ये बात अच्छी होती है कि उनके पास पता होता है कि लक्ष्य क्या होने वाला है। जो पहले बल्लेबाजी करने वाली की टीम जो शायद 180 का लक्ष्य रखे, फिर 160 का, फिर 125 का, 150 का, वो ठीक से आका नहीं जाता। दूसरी बल्लेबाजी करने वाली टीम के लिए ये एडवांटेज तो हो ही जाता है। और ये पहला चौका। हल्के हाथों से खेल दिया, गेंद को बस दिशा दे दी और बैकवर्ड पॉइंट की दिशा में ये पहला चौका, बहुत ही बेहतरीन चौका, पहला चौका, पहला बिजनेस असाइनमेंट, पहली सैलरी और पहली गर्लफ्रेंड हमेशा याद रहती है। That is a fantastic shot। तो पहला प्यार याद रहेगा, पहला चौका भी याद रहेगा। 
इन चार रनों के साथ अपना खाता खोलेंगे अमित और फिर एक बार कलाइयों के सहारे गेंद को मोड़ दिया हल्के हाथों से खेल दिया और एक रन चुरा लिया इस एक रन के साथ स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा जहां पहुंचेगा पांच पर देखिए हर बार जिसे अंग्रेजी में कहते हैं फास्ट एंड फ्यूरियस की जरूरत नहीं होती है स्लो स्मार्ट एंड स्टेड भी काम कर जाता है तो अच्छी तरह से समझ बूझ कर खेल रहे बल्लेबाज और जब उचित गेंद आए तो उस पर प्रहार करने का प्रयास जरूर कर रहे हैं पांच रन हो चुके हैं और अब तक चार गेंदे फेंचे जा चुकी है गेंदबाजी मार्ग पर है शैनील कई बार जो ऐसे कैप्टन होते हैं जो पहला ओवर भी लेकर आते हैं पहले बल्लेबाजी भी करने आते हैं भारतीय क्रिकेट टीम में मनोज प्रभाकर ऐसे गेंदबाज से ऐसे बल्लेबाज से जो पहला ओवर भी फेंकते थे और पहले बल्लेबाजी करने के लिए एक ओपनर के स्वरूप में भी आते थे तो शैनिल अपनी टीम के लिए बल्लेबाजी कर रहे हैं गेंदबाजी कर रहे हैं अपनी टीम के लिए जान लगा रहे हैं और उनके सामने होंगे पहली बार स्ट्राइक पर आने वाले करण करण जवेरी बहुत ही जबरदस्त बल्लेबाज गेंद की दिशा थोड़ी सी गलत इस गलत दिशा को दंडित किया जाएगा एक रन से स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा स्कोर जहां पहुंचेगा आप छे पर छह रन प्रति ओवर चाहिए लेकिन ये पावर के प्ले के पहले छह ओवर में आपको मैच जिता भी सकते हैं और आपको पीछे भी धकेल सकते हैं अगर आप तीन से ज्यादा विकेट खोते हो तो अमूमन आप वो मैच हार जाते हो फिर एक बार लगातार दूसरी गेंद वाइट गेंद वाइट गेंद के साथ स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा जा पहुंचेगा अब सात रनों पर सात रन बिना किसी विकेट के नुकसान पर बिना किसी रिस्क के कोई भी खतरा कोई भी जोखिम नहीं लेते हुए सात रन जो अर्जित किए हैं वो दो आश्वस्त करने वाले होंगे दोनों बल्लेबाजों को और पहली ओवर की ये पांचवी गेंद थी अभी भी इस गेंद इस ओवर की आखिरी गेंद आनी शेष सात रन आ चुके हैं ओवर में और गेंदबाज है शैलीन इस टीम के कप्तान और बेहतरीन ड्राइव किया गेंद जा रही है वाइडिश लॉन्ग ऑन की दिशा में एक रन प्राप्त होगा दूसरे रन के लिए जा रहे हैं बेहतरीन रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट देखिए पहला रन काफी तेजी से लिया दूसरे रन को भाप लिया और जांच लिया और निकल पड़े उसके बाद आसानी से वो दूसरा रन पूरा कर लिया तो स्कोर एक ओवर की समाप्ति पर नौ रन बिना किसी विकेट के नुकसान पर एक चौका जो आपको देखने मिला दो वाइड भी देखने मिले और आखिरी गेंद पर निकाली वह दो रन एक रन शॉर्ट अंपायर से या सीसीटीवी कैमरे से ये इन्होंने भाप लिया जांच लिया और देख लिया कि बल्लेबाज की बैट थोड़ी सी शॉर्ट है उन्होंने क्रीस के जो पॉपिंग क्रीस के उसके पहले बैट रख दी थी आपको लाइन क्रॉस करनी होती है और दोनों ही अंपायर्स अमित जी सालवी सर एंड समीर जी धिरवानी सर ये टॉप ऑफिशियल्स माने जाते हैं मुंबई क्रिकेट के बड़े बड़े टूर्नामेंट्स में इनको आपको देखने मिलेगा एम सी ये अंपायर्स और जैसे देखिए बल्लेबाजों में पार्टनरशिप जरूरी होती है अंपायर्स के बीच में भी पार्टनरशिप काफी जरूरी होती है देखिए आप उनके हाथों की तरफ देखिए आपको ध्यान आएगा जब तीन ओवर गेंदे हो जाती है तो अपने कमर पर हाथ रखेंगे दो गेंदे शेष होंगे तो चार उंगलियां या दो उंगलियां दिखाएंगे और दोनों हाथ आगे इसलिए रखेंगे ताकि बता सके कि अगर वो एज लग कर गया है बैट को तो लेग अंपायर सामने वाले अंपायर को दर्शित कर देता है एल के वक्त या एज के वक्त ये कॉम्बिनेशन होता है अगर हस्बैंड वाइफ में बातचीत ना हो तो भी चलेगा दो अंपायर्स के बीच में कोऑर्डिनेशन होना काफी जरूरी तो दोनों की जोड़ी सलामत रहे बहुत ही जबरदस्त है दोनों कैप्टन दोनों अंपायर्स माफ कीजिए हर्षल और शैनिल इन दोनों के बीच में मुकाबला मुकाबला है वाइकिंग्स और गैंगस्टर्स के बीच में इस एक रन के साथ स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा जहां पहुंचेगा अब नौ पर 
काफी खूबसूरत सा ये ग्राउंड है देखिए लगभग सात एकड़ की ये प्रॉपर्टी है और इस सात एकड़ में महेंद्र सिंह धोनी का जो नंबर है जैसे जिसको क्रिकेट में काफी एंटरटेनमेंट आपको देता है ये ग्राउंड भी आपको क्रिकेट का भरपूर मजा देगा सत्य जोशी लोनावला तो ये लोनावला से थोड़ा दूर है पुणे से थोड़ा करीब है कामशेद के थोड़ा पास है और ताकवे गांव से पीछे और फनके गांव के थोड़ा सा आगे ये ग्राउंड है बहुत ही बेहतरीन ये ग्राउंड काफी जबरदस्त नजारा ऐसे लग रहा है कि कोई आप न्यूजीलैंड या साउथ अफ्रीका के या वेस्ट इंडीज के ग्राउंड पे है जहां पर आपको पीछे बैकग्राउंड में बहुत ही खूबसूरत से वादिया दिखाई देंगे और बहुत ही खूबसूरत सा ग्राउंड ग्राउंड की खासियत यह है कि एक बहुत ही जबरदस्त गोलाकृति में ये जो ग्राउंड है सारों तरफ आपको सेम बाउंड्रीज मिलेंगी और जो फेंसिंग है लाजवाब बहुत ही जैसे कोई पेंटिंग बना के रखी है किसी चित्रकार ने ओ लीडिंग है जिसे कहते हैं अपनी जगह पर वो रहे हिले नहीं और अपने बैट्समैन को बचा लिया नौ रन हो चुके हैं जनक डाउन द लेग साइड वाइट घोषित की जाएगी इस वाइट से दो अंकों पर टोटल जाएगा टोटल जा पहुंचेगा अब दस पर टेन रन ऑन द स्कोर कार्ड जनक क्या बल्लेबाजी की थी जनक का पहला हिट याद रहेगा इस प्रतियोगिता की पहली गेंद और पहली गेंद पे मारा हुआ छक्का छक्का मारा था जनक शाह ने इस एक रन के साथ स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा जा पहुंचेगा अब ग्यारह पर लेवन रन ऑन द स्कोर कार्ड जनक जनक क्या इस टीम के तारा ना रो सकेंगे क्या जनक अपनी टीम के लिए एक से ज्यादा विकेट ले पाएंगे विकेट्स ही हैं जो इस टीम को इस प्रतियोगिता में जिंदा रख सकती है इस मैच में जिंदा रख सकती है इनको और मैचेस खेलने हैं लेकिन ये मैच पहला मैच काफी जरूरी हो जाता है जब छह टीम्स इस प्रतियोगिता में शामिल हो बेहतरीन बल्लेबाजी देखिए ये बल्लेबाज एक ऐसा बल्लेबाज है जो ज्यादा ताकत में विश्वास नहीं करता अपनी कलाइयों का उपयोग करना अच्छी तरह से गेंद को टाइम करना गेंद को गैप में खेलने में विश्वास करता है तो एक ऐसा बल्लेबाज जो तकनीकी रूप से काफी जबरदस्त है और ताकत के बजाय अपनी क्रिकेटिंग क्षमता पर ज्यादा जोर देने का प्रयास कर रहा है बेहतरीन शॉट बैकफुट पे जाके पंच किया गेंद जाएंगे सीधा खिलाड़ी के पास लेकिन एक रन वहां से चुरा लेंगे एक से एक रन के साथ रन पहुंचेंगे एक दर्जन पर दूसरा ओवर चल रहा है जनक शाह का पहला ओवर चार रन खर्च कर चुके हैं पांच गेंदों में बारह रन स्कोर कार्ड पर कवर्स की दिशा में गेंद को हिट किया है एक रन यहां पे जरूर मिलेगा इस एक रन के साथ स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा जा पहुंचेगा अब तेरह पर थर्टीन रन ऑन द स्कोर कार्ड दो ओवर्स की समाप्ति पर स्कोर है तेरह रन पहले ओवर में रन आए थे आठ दूसरे ओवर में रन आए हैं पांच स्कोर दो ओवर की समाप्ति पर तेरह बिना किसी विकेट के नुकसान के So two overs and 13 runs, eight in the first, five in the second. The last ball of the first over went for a couple of runs, but it was given one shot. So 13 runs on the scorecard. The gangsters. Down the leg side, it is a wide. The wide that will take the score to 14. They need to control those wides. They need to bowl with discipline. they have a very small total to defend where they need to bowl really well and make this 124 look like 144 or 154 for that to happen they need to take wickets that they need to bowl in right areas
Oh, that's nicely bowled. Not that easy to score runs, perhaps. That awkward bounce on the wicket. Generally, we associate this ground with flat belters. It is not the same flat wicket. There is some. There are some tricky patches on it. It might look a flat one, but uh, the ball is doing a bit in certain spots. 15 runs on the scorecard. You need to really work hard to get runs on this wicket today. But as the day progresses, as the sun will beat, the wicket will turn out to be a belter. Nine times out of ten, you get a batting paradise. And matches in the evening, you will see some high scores being scored. Hitesh Shah is waiting uh, in his turn, just like a 10-year-old boy. He's very excited to play every game of cricket. Hitesh Shah, of course, may be 50 now. 51? 60? 56, uh, but still uh, that uh, boy smile on his face. And uh, that, I don't know, still the same 15-year-old boy in that man. And same with the chairman. Chairman almost behaves like a 12-year-old boy on the cricketing ground because he loves his game. Oh, that is smart batting. He understands what the need of the R is. It's not boundaries which are needed. They need a solid opening partnership. Once they establish a very good partnership of 30-40 runs, all that confidence of the opposition to come back into the contest, all that energy will diffuse out. And that is what is more important. Get the belief of the opposition that they can win and there is where half the battle is won. Nicely glided. That is what the speciality of this man is. He does not bludgeon the ball. He does not hit it hard. He just caresses it. He just plays it almost like an artist with the paintbrush in his hand. He tries to do delicate things and he does it with uh, great elegance. The score is 15 now. Sixteen. Sixteen runs on the scorecard. Oh, that is nicely done. Straight to the fielder though. The difference between the two teams, they were going hammer and tongs. The team Vikings, this team on the other hand is trying to time the ball. Because if you time the ball well on this wicket and find gaps, the ball is going to race away. So instead of hitting it too hard, try and time the ball and place it in the gap, the ball is going to run away. He has played it with soft hands for a single. Good work by the fielder, but cannot stop them from going over for a single. A single that will take the score to 17. 17 without loss. So they are moving along merrily. Two overs. In fact, three overs done and dusted. The score is 17 without loss. Eight runs in the first over. Five in the second. And just four in the third. A very good over in terms of runs being considered. But the most important factor is the wicket. They would love to take a wicket. In the process, even if they gave half a dozen runs, maybe even a dozen run, they won't be bothered about it. They want a wicket. They would like to purchase a wicket from some way. 17 runs on the scorecard. 17 for 5 was India in the 1983 World Cup. And when Kapil Dev Nikanj came and converted that 17 for 5 into 175. That is how you should make. You should make uh, your liabilities into your assets. You should make every setback as your starting point see let's see what this team is going to do will they come back the zeal to do well for your mates every time you play well for your team you make new friends you are respecting the team manifolds to play for that respect play for your mates play for your friends play for your team and uh, your performance is always going to get bigger and and one such big uh, team man is janak janak will always give his 100% 18 runs on the scorecard. This is great understanding between the two batters. It is not calling yes and no, just looking into each other's eyes and going for runs. That is what trust is. It's not always calling out loud. It is believing in your partner's call. Just having a look and going for it. So some changes in the field. That is what they should do. They should be proactive. Try and manufacture, fabricate, engineer a wicket and get back into the contest. That is what Shrenil is trying to do. That is good. 
He should change things. That is beautifully punched off the back foot into the covers for a single. He is just doing what is scripted out to him. They have asked him to take singles. They have asked him to take things easy. They have asked him to take care of good balls. He is doing exactly the same. As if somebody has uh, given him an AI script what to do. And he is exactly following it to the tilt. 19 runs on the scorecard. The two gangsters would be happy. The captain, Harshal and Mohit. And that will whistle away. Good stop by the fielder at short third man. Generally, balls, every time they go behind the wicket, it becomes really difficult to gauge the ball. Because if the batsman himself is not in control where the ball is going, the fielder finds it doubly difficult. Because the ball swirls around, curls around, and goes in very funny directions. So good work by the fielder at short third. He may be one of the senior most members, but he is the smartest of them all. 20 runs on the scorecard. Right now, Mohit and Herschel are all, all smiles, but things can change in cricket in double quick time. Score 20. Oh, that's beautifully done. This man is playing a very sensible knock. The word sensible is important because he is doing what is expected of him to do in the current situation. You do not play the ball, you do not play the baller, you play the conditions, you play the situation. Right now it demands some caution and aggression. He is doing exactly the same. A blend of caution along with a little bit of aggression. And good to see uh, the players meeting each other and Every time anyone has come on this ground for the first time, the first thing what they do is to take out the mobile phone and make a call back at home. Oh, what a shot! This is the shot of the day. Brilliant hit. Just timed it for a sixer. What a hit. That was a monstrous hit. With, hit with a lot of ease. It is the lazy, crazy elegance of Rohit Sharma. What a shot that was. Look at it. It was just caressed for a sixer. It wasn't muscled, it wasn't hit with a lot of power, it wasn't uh, just uh, butchered, it was just pure elegance and uh, artistry of cricket at its best. What a shot that was. That's what we love to see. Some great shots. He would remember this. And if he's a social media buff, a reel of this has to be made. 27 runs on the scorecard. The coach would be really happy with the Watts performance. Karan Zaveri uh, and that was an ornamental shot. What a shot that was. Oh, that is even better. Look at the way the ball raises off the bat now. When the batsman is in that kind of zone, he becomes almost unstoppable. The Karan Zaveri slowly opening his arms and taking the scoring ahead. The score at the end of this over is 28 runs. A monstrous over, 11 runs in this over. A good one for the gangsters. The Vikings, they need some inspiration. They need a Bumrah. They need a Rashid Khan. They need somebody to take them out of this trouble now. Well, let's see whether Shreenil allows the game to flow. Or will he do something special, something out of the box and uh, try and purchase, manufacture, fabricate, engineer a wicket and get back into the contest. Oh, Kamlesh Bhai is also here. Kamlesh Bhai, just a few days back he was on uh, that Oval Maidan and he was running like a 10-year-old boy, hitting like a 10-year-old boy. He's here for the next match. And the cricket lovers who have come for the first time would absolutely love this place. Oh, this is beautifully done. What a shot again. This man is playing some delightful strokes. What a flick. This was even better. One hike into the mid-wicket region. Then one absolutely nice shot all along the carpet in that wide-ish mid-off region, mid-on region. And this one was a classic flick. What a shot. And just beautiful wrist. Not a lot of power, but a lot of elegance and grace into that. 
it's a treat to watch when the batsman in such good flow look at that oh beautifully done the replay worth watching again and again oh he is just timing it so well the ball is just racing off from his bat he is in that zone now that is bat is almost moving like a paint brush like an artist who just wheels his uh, paint brush and makes some masterpieces in just few seconds that kind of mood he is in now 33 runs one man who can make a difference is shanil he is the one who can get them that wicket he is trying his best he's bowling his third over trying to put his best foot forward trying to do everything for his team shanil he has been the man for the team he has the skipper has done everything and look at this this is infectious both the batsmen it started off with amit initially with those elegant shots and uh, karan has been the epitome of those classical shots the left handers always do look graceful but even the right handers are graceful it is not always fair and lovely it is sometimes dark and beautiful also first time these two guys in fact twice in the same ball confusion between them it can happen between them they are going to sort out and just they just say i love you to each other and they go back to their places 34 runs on the score card we are into the fifth over these guys are moving at the rate of knots considering the score and uh, the required run rate these guys are moving at a rapid pace but that's always good to 33 runs i beg your pardon oh the idea was right white ball in the process of trying to get a wicket he is trying his extra that is the reason it has gone down he has batted for almost 13 14 15 overs and he has come back he is bowling 3 overs on a trot in this weather even if it is lonala or mumbai or any place hot weather is hot weather it is going to trouble you 34 runs played with soft hands for a single the score moves on to 35 the last ball of the the last ball of the fifth over 35 runs on the score card run rate seven runs per over almost Oh, that is a full toss, and he has taken full toll of it. Uh, that's a great effort. That is a great effort. Not an effort that is. That has to be one of the best efforts of the day. What an effort! You may be on the losing side. Your team is not doing well. You need some magic like this. You may not get an opportunity to bat and score those fifty runs. You may not get an opportunity to get a head break or bowl those important overs. But as a fielder. this is what you can do what an effort that was moving towards his right he had to stop that one that was not that a great delivery but that was a super special catch what a catch and he has balanced himself oh this is international stuff you guys open your mobile phones go on to sports next go on to gch in fact gch garwari clubhouse and punch over there and find this wonderful catch this is absolutely top class this is the moment of garware clubhouse cricket carnival what a catch that was to take that catch high in the sky in fact he was air bound and take it he is really upset he was in silk and touch but that can happen that can happen your heart can break when you absolutely are in the top mood he was looking so good he was looking all set to play those big sixers and boundaries but he has been removed by a sensational catch it might be the best catch of the tournament it was very good for the fact that he was moving with momentum his momentum would have taken him away like the international players he got himself curled around stopped it and uh, controlled his movement and took a very wonderful catch 
He could have done the acrobatics. He could have done the showmanship of just lifting the ball up, going out and taking it again. Instead, he actually balanced himself and took a wonderful catch. So no drama, Sidivat, no bakwas, a fantastic catch. That little magic which was needed has been uh, provided by the fielder. You always need some good fortune. You always need some magic. You always need something extraordinary for great things to happen. Right now, gangsters are, were all over them. But that small little glimmer of hope, some turn of good fortune, a big wicket of a bad ball and a great catch. Things can change in life and cricket in no time. Time for this men in yellow to come together, work as a team and uh, give it their best and take it to the last few overs. 35 for 1 right now. 5 overs done and dusted. 89 runs away they are. Oh, that is a shot and half. Straight to the fielder though. He's timing so well. Generally, in a partnership, one partner follows another. You get one wicket, the other batsman just follows him. Amit was almost there to meet Karan. 36 runs on the scorecard. Mohit comes in. Mohit Chaturvedi. Watch out for this man. He can play some really... Strong shots. Oh, that's beautifully punched off the back foot. Reminds me of one batsman from past, Graham Hick actually. The way he stands and the way he lifts his back, the paw, the stance, almost like Graham Hick. That was down the leg side, wanted to swivel it and hit it for a boundary. It remained a bit low. Low for Mohit would be for many people, a little high on the knees. That kind of tall guy, guy this man is. He stays there for some time. He's going to have a lot of fun on this ground. That is what I was talking about. He has gone for a monstrous hit. It is a boundary or a sixer. What a shot that was. That is what I was talking about. He starts off his account with a boundary. The man dealing in boundaries is the man uh, at the highest post and he has got his first hit, the first score with a boundary. The start of the inning with a boundary, let's see what he does. He is going for it again, up and over, into the covers. Will it go all the way? That is only the ball triggers and that is consecutive boundaries for the big man. Mohit is just loving it. Mohit is somebody who mesmerizes you. But this man is going to be some headache for the opposition. Whenever the batsmen, they score quickly, they infuse a lot of uh, disbelief in the opposition. They infuse a lot of confusion in the opposition. These are the batsmen who diffuse any confidence which is being developed. Strike rate of 200. Four balls, eight runs. Beautifully bowled. And that's a great comeback by bowler Nishit. The Meshut bowling it in the right areas, the last ball. The score at the end of the power play is 44 for the loss of Karan Zaveri. Well, that's the first thing you do. And uh, 
एवरी टाइम क्रिकेटर और बैट्समैन कम्स इन ईयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम अ बोलर हु एवर अ क्रिकेटर कम्स इन ईयर अ क्रिकेट बफ इवन अ स्पेक्टेटर कम्स द फर्स्ट थिंग यू वुड डू इज टू टेक आउट इज मोबाइल फोन एंड टेक दोज वंडरफुल पिक्चर्स और जस्ट मेक अ वीडियो कॉल बैक होम एंड टेल देम हाउ ब्यूटिफुल दिस प्लेस इज जस्ट एज दे एंटर दैट यू विल सी इन द प्लेस हु कम इन नाउ दैट इज वॉट दे डू फर्स्ट एंड दैट इज द इमीजिएट रिएक्शन समबडी हु लव्स द गेम the only thing which was missing in the last seasons was some greenery on that on those mountains it was bald a uh, few seasons back some trees have already started to sprout there and it's looking greener now greener for the team in red even things are really rosy for them they got 44 runs and they have just lost one wicket and they are going at the rate of 7 and 1/2 runs per over where they needed just 6 runs per over they are going more than what is required चलिए देखते हैं शैनिल की इस टीम इस प्रतियोगिता में इस मुकाबले में कैसे वापसी करती है एक बेहतरीन कैच जरूर ली थी उसके बाद दो चौके जो मोहित ने जड़े थे अगर एक विकेट के बाद और एक दो विकेट आ जाए तो मैच में वापसी का दरवाजा खुल जाता है विकेट एक के साथ गुच्छों में आने चाहिए दो या तीन आएंगे तब मैच में मजा आएगा फिलहाल तो ये वन वे ट्रैफिक जिसे कहते हैं उस तरह ये मैच चल रही है लेकिन चीजें बदलती जरूर है आपको मौके बनाने पड़ेंगे अगर मौके आएंगे आपके राह में तो उनको भुनाने पड़ेंगे देखते हैं आने वाली इन ओवर्स में क्या होता है और और एक बेहतरीन स्पिन गेंदबाज नीरज नीरज जिन्होंने काफी जबरदस्त बल्लेबाजी की थी अब जिम्मेदारी होगी उनपे कि अपने अनुभव का उपयोग करके एक या दो विकेट जरूर चटका एक रन के साथ स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा जा पहुंचेगा 45 पर जीत का लक्ष्य 124 का तो मात्र उनासी रनों की जरूरत है यहां से 79 रन्स टू विन नीरज दलाल सामने होंगे मोहित चतुर्वेदी बेहतरीन गेंदबाजी एंड हैज ही गॉड हिम यस क्लीन बोल्ड बैकफुट पर खेले जिस गेंद पर आगे खेलना चाहिए था बैकफुट पे चले गए और शुरुआती गेंद जो काफी धीमी फेंकी थी दूसरी गेंद आमर फेंकी और He caught him by surprise. ये बहुत बड़ी विकेट हो सकती है बिकॉज ये बल्लेबाज इस मैच को काफी जल्द फिनिश करने का दमखम रखता था उन्हें वापस भेजा है जिन्होंने पहले चार गेंदों पे दो चौके जड़े थे और हिट विकेट है शायद सर हिट विकेट ओ माई गॉड ये बहुत ही बदनसीब तरीके से आउट होना कहेंगे जब बैकफुट पर अब चले गए बहुत पीछे गए उनका कद जो उनके लिए प्लस पॉइंट था वो शायद उन्हीं के लिए उनका दुश्मन भी बन गया मोहित ये हार्ट ब्रेक है ये हार्ट ये जो जैसा ब्रेकअप से भी ज्यादा दो हिट विकेट पे होता है सर मोहित जी जब बिजनेस में लॉस होता तो उतना नुकसान या उतना बुरा नहीं लगता जब हिट विकेट में होता है 45 दूसरे विकेट का नुकसान एक है कि आप नॉन स्ट्राइक पर हैं और आप रन आउट हो जाते हैं एक भी बॉल खेले बिना और ये दूसरा हिट विकेट पे सम गुड फॉर्चून देखिए भाग्य ने अपना दरवाजा खोल दिया है क्या शैलिन की टीम इस दरवाजे को खोलकर अपनी राह खुद बनाएगा दूसरा विकेट उन्हें मिल चुका है और ये फुल टॉस मिस कर गए रन आउट का मौका नीरज दलाल अपनी टीम के लिए कुछ जादुई करिश्माई चीजें करते हुए थ्रो उतना अच्छा नहीं था लेकिन थ्रो कर दिया उसको अप्रिशिएट कर रहे हैं ये खासियत होती है अनुभव में अगर गलती भी की थी तो उसको अप्रिशिएट किया गया कि ताकि अगली बार वो गलती ना करे उसे चिल्लाने से अच्छा है उसको एनकरेज करे ओ 
What a shot! Flattened, big, long, sixer out of the property. Chaka. Sade che saat ekar ki a property is property ke bahar marne ke liye bahut taakat ki zarurat hai. Chaka mar diya aur is chakke ke saat score jayega 50 ke par. Up ki bar? 50 ke par. 51 runs on the scorecard. 50 pe ke ar, mein kisi ki age nahi keh raha hon. Yeh score ho chuka hai. Nahi kisi political party ke liye hum yaha pe campaign kar rahe. Yeh kya one run ho chuka hai? Do wicket ke nuksan pe. और ये मौका बना है फैंटेस्टिक बॉलिंग यहां पर विकेट आ सकती है टेकन ब्यूटीफुली टेकन बहुत ही बड़े हाथ और लिया गया आसानी से एक जबरदस्त कैच गेंद हवा में घूमे की जरूर बिकॉज यहां पर जो विंड फैक्टर है हवा यहां पर गेंद को हवा में लहराएगी और उसको कैच करना काफी मुश्किल होगा बेहतरीन कैच फैंटेस्टिक कैच और कौन है जनक जनक नाम ही है उनका की जो चीजें बनाते हैं खुद और उन्होंने फिर एक बार अपने लिए मौका बनाया अपनी टीम के लिए मौका बनाया और एक अच्छे बल्लेबाज को चलता किया है कि जो बहुत ही खतरनाक साबित क्या छक्का जड़ा था और छक्के की दूसरे गेंद पर ललचाया गेंद को फिर फ्लाइट किया फिर उन्होंने आमंत्रित किया और चैलेंज किया एक ऐसे बल्लेबाज को जो काफ़ी ज़बरदस्त छक्का लगा चुके थे और जो अच्छी गेंदबाजी की थी वंश ने बल्लेबाजी में भी मैच को तुरंत कंप्लीट करना चाहते थे जो बगल में जो बैठे जॉय वहां पे जाके अम्यूजमेंट पार्क में जाना चाहते थे लेकिन आउट होकर वापस जाएंगे बट वंश जैसे बल्लेबाज होने चाहिए जो तोड़ने फोड़ने और जोड़ने में विश्वास रखते हैं So, the third wicket is a 1-1 run score. This is saying that one from the other comes from the other. After the other, the third comes from the third. So, three wickets have come. A little bit earlier, one was not one wicket. Now, three wickets. The door has opened. A little bit of the path has been opened. Is that the team has won the path from the small path to win the path? What's the matter, Ravichandran Ashwin? I think Niraj Dalal is doing this. So, Ravichandran Ashwin is coming. Niraj Ji, please do the work. 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 बहुत ही जबरदस्त गेंदबाज है आसानी खेल दिया बहुत ही जबरदस्त शॉट बैकफुट पे जाकर गेंद को टैप कर दिया एक रन के लिए नीरज है जिन्होंने दो विकेट्स अपनी टीम के लिए निकाले सबसे बड़ी विकेट जो मोहित की थी जो उन्होंने चार गेंदों में दो चौके जड़े थे उसके बाद जो वंश आए पहली गेंद पे क्या छक्का जा रहा था उसके दूसरी गेंद पे वो वंश की विकेट मिल गई अगर वंश वहां पे खेल जाते तो शायद जो आयोजक है उनका वक्त भी बचा देते क्योंकि वंश पंद्रह ओवर में मैच खत्म भी कर सकते थे बावन पे तीसरा विकेट सात ओवर की समाप्ति पर और ये क्रिकेट का गेम है यहाँ दिस इज अ टीम स्पोर्ट वंश बहुत ही जबरदस्त बैट्समैन है लेकिन जो कॉम्बिनेशन था गेंदबाज का और फील्डर का वो काम कर गया और बहुत अच्छे बैट्समैन को वापस पवेलियन भेज दिया है बहुत बड़ी विकेट है मोहित और वंश ये दोनों ही बल्लेबाज मैच को क्लोज करने की ताकत रखते थे उन्हीं को क्लोज कर दिया है भले वो चेयरमैन ऑफ क्रिकेट कमेटी क्यों ना हो उनको वापिस जल्दी भेजना उनका काम था सो ही इज बैक टू हिस्स ड्यूटी इज नाउ उन्होंने बल्लेबाजी कर चुके हैं अब आयोजन में कोई चीजें कमी है कि नहीं उसका ध्यान रखेंगे लेकिन आयोजन काफी जबरदस्त काफी बेहतरीन ये ग्राउंड है और ये देखिए रंग कौन से कौन से आए हैं सबसे पहले लाल रंग जो त्याग का रंग है उसी के साथ पीला रंग चेन्नई सुपर किंग जीत का रंग उसके बाद टीम ब्लू टर्कोस ब्लू डिजाइनर ब्लू इंडियन टीम का जो रंग है और भगवादारी भी आ चुके हैं तो चारों स्पेशल कलर से और स्पेशल टूर्नामेंट के लिए तैयार है
जर्सीज जिन्होंने भी डिजाइन की है काफी जबरदस्त ऑलमोस्ट ये कॉम्बिनेशन देखिए काफी जबरदस्त ये आईपीएल जर्सी से भी गया लोग का कॉम्बिनेशन बेहतरीन रेड का टॉकॉस ब्लू का भी जबरदस्त और भगवान रंग तो हमेशा जचता है किसी पर भी थ्री फोर फिफ्टी थ्री आठवा ओवर चल रहा है मुझे थोड़ी देर के लिए गया समीर रिजवी आ गए जो सामने से प्लेयर गए मुझे लगा आईपीएल छोड़ के यहां पर आ गए अभी अभी जो प्लेयर है समीर रिजवी तो नहीं है ना थ्री फोर फिफ्टी फोर चौवन रन तीन विकेट के नुकसान पर एट ओवर इन प्रोग्रेस बेहतरीन गेंदबाजी देखिए आपको एक विकेट क्या मिल जाए आपके बाकी गेंदबाज भी आपको मदद करेंगे और मिश्रित एक ऐसा प्लेयर है जो आज उतने सफल नहीं हुए गेंद बल्लेबाजी में लेकिन ये ऑलराउंडर कमाल के हैं ये विकेट छटका सकते हैं और मिश्रित इस गेम में इस मैच में इस प्रतियोगिता में जान फूकने की क्षमता रखते हैं बहुत ही जबरदस्त कंट्रीब्यूटर है बेहतरीन गेंदबाजी हाउ डिड मिस मिस स्टम्प्स वो पूछ रहे हैं ये सवाल कि एक मिस कैसे कर गई स्टम्प्स को और ये सवाल लगातार अपने आप से पूछना चाहिए और अपने आप को और प्रेरित करना चाहिए बिकॉज ये छोटी सी पूंजी है उसको उनको संभालनी है फिलहाल गैंगस्टर्स की टीम थोड़ी सी मुसीबत में जरूर है और कम कर रही है श्रेनिल की टीम हर्ष की टीम दे हैव गॉट मोस्ट थिंग्स राइट दैट इज ब्यूटिफुली बॉल ये होता है देखिए अगर आप कॉन्फिडेंट होंगे तो आपको सफलता मिलेगी अगर आपके पास आप सफल होंगे तो आपका आत्मविश्वास बढ़ेगा दोनों ही चीजें एक दूसरे से जुड़ी हुई होती है फिलहाल सफलता के बाद उनका आत्मविश्वास दुगुना चौगुना हो चुका है और अच्छी गेंदबाजी कर रहे हैं इस ओवर में देखिए पहले ओवर में दस रन खर्च किए थे इस ओवर में मात्र दो ओ, क्या बेहतरीन ड्राइव था ये स्ट्रेट डाउन द ग्राउंड जितने भी शॉट्स खेले हैं सारे बल्लेबाजों ने उन शॉट्स में नजाकत भरपूर थी उस शॉट्स में तकनीक भरपूर थी और वो बहुत जरूरी है थ्री फोर फिफ्टी फाइव पचपन पे तीन विकेट्स So, इस प्रतियोगिता में देखिए काफी लोग जुड़े हुए हैं जिसमें हमारे स्कोरर हैं मनीष सिंह हमारे ब्रॉडकास्टिंग मैनेजर है शुभम फिर दिगेश हमारे कैमरामैन उसी के साथ जग्गू भाई और फोटोग्राफर हैं श्रेणिक काफी जबरदस्त फोटोग्राफर जिन्होंने मुंबई इंडियंस के जूनियर मुंबई इंडियंस के इवेंट्स किए हैं फुटबॉल लीग्स के वॉर्ड शॉट काफी बेहतरीन कवर ड्राइव जो लेफ्ट हैंडेड बल्लेबाज है वो हमेशा से ही ज्यादा ग्रेसफुल ज्यादा खूबसूरत दिखते हैं शॉट्स जब अच्छे खेलते तो हमें एक नहीं दो दो यहाँ पर लेफ्ट हैंडर्स देखने मिल रहे हैं और दोनों की बल्लेबाजी काफी अच्छे सर की लेकिन अच्छी गेंदबाजी करनी पड़ेगी कम करना पड़ेगा इस मैच में इन खिलाड़ियों को छप्पन तीन विकेट के नुकसान पर बेहतरीन गेंदबाजी आमंत्रित कर रहे हैं नीरज दलाल नीरज दलाल एकमात्र इनफैक्ट वाइड बॉल एकमात्र ऐसे गेंदबाज हैं जो रन देने के लिए तैयार है रन खर्च करने के लिए तैयार है वो विकेट लेना चाहते हैं छक्का खाने के बावजूद मात्र दस रन खर्च किए फुल टॉस गेंद ये पहली गेंद जो खराब मैं कहूंगा इस एक रन के साथ स्कोर जा पहुंचेगा अब अट्ठावन पर फिफ्टी एट 
नीरज क्या बेहतरीन गेंदबाजी की है नीरज की गेंदबाजी पे रन आए जरूर है ग्यारह रन आए हैं एक दशन में दो ओवर्स पे लेकिन दो बड़े विकेट उन्होंने अर्जित किए हैं और वो ज्यादा जरूरी है फिलहाल लेट कट किया कि मौका है यहां पे रन आउट का डायरेक्ट हिट और खिलाड़ी आउट हो सकते थे रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट उतनी अच्छी नहीं यहां पर शायद अपना विकेट खो दिया था यह मैच जितना आसान लग रहा है अगर यहां पर दो तीन विकेट आ जाते हैं जल्दबाजी में तो मैच मुश्किल हो सकता है क्योंकि काफी अच्छा खेल रहे थे उनके बल्लेबाज करण रिज भी वो आउट हो गए मोहित हिट विकेट आउट हो गए उसके बाद वंश जो अच्छा हिट लगा रहे थे वो आउट हो गए तो आउट ऑफ नोवेयर जिसे कहते हैं कि कोई सॉफ्ट डिसमिसल थे कोई डिसमिसल अनफॉर्चुनेट थे तो क्रिकेट में और लाइफ में चीजें बदलने में वक्त नहीं लगता साठ रन तो लगभग आधे रन हो चुके हैं आधे रन बनाने हैं और अभी भी नौ ग्यारह दशमलव दो ओवर्स बाकी है पचास प्रतिशत रन पूरे हो चुके हैं और साठ प्रतिशत ओवर अभी भी बाकी है ओ, काफी स्लो ये गेंद थी इतनी धीरे से आई कि शायद आप घर पर जाकर चाय का प्याला पीकर वापस आ जाते फिर भी गेंद नहीं आती इतनी धीरे से वो डाली थी बल्लेबाज पूरा घूम गए तब तक गेंद आई नहीं थी और बच गए एलबीडब्ल्यू से बच गए क्लीन बोल्ट से बच गए स्मार्ट गेंदबाजी बिल्कुल पेस नहीं दे रहे सारी मेहनत वो बल्लेबाजों से करवा रहे नीरज दो विकेट ऑलरेडी ले चुके हैं इस बार इट इज नो बॉल नो बॉल फॉर इट फॉर पिचिंग इट आउटसाइड द विकेट इकसठ फ्री हिट का मौका फ्री हिट को हिट किया डाउन द ग्राउंड खिलाड़ी वहां पे मौजूद एक ही रन मिलेगा इसी रन के साथ स्कोर जा पहुंचेगा आप 62 पर 62 टू फॉर थ्री तो 124 का लक्ष्य है बासठ रन पूरे हो चुके हैं 9 ओवर समाप्त हो चुके हैं 11 ओवर्स में रन बनाने बासठ तो आधे रन हो चुके हैं आधे ओवर रन बाकी है और अभी भी 11 ओवर्स का खेल शेष मोहित ने शायद अभी से मैन ऑफ द मैच किसे देना है वो सोच कर रख दिया है और जैसे देखिए सर आप ही हो चेयरमैन तो यू कैन डू थिंग्स ऑन योर ओन So, बासठ रन हो चुके हैं और मोहित फिर एक बार एक पंद्रह साल के लड़के हो चुके हैं सिक्सटी टू रन ऑन द स्कोर कार्ड और ये आपको क्रिकेट का मौका क्रिकेट जरूर मौका देगा इट इज द चाइल्ड हुड विच इज क्लॉक बैक वाइल यू प्ले योर क्रिकेट कहा जाता है कि बचपन होना चाहिए बचपन आ नहीं होना चाहिए हमेशा बचपन जिंदा होना चाहिए बचपन आ नहीं होना चाहिए काफी क्लोज है लेकिन उतना ज्यादा फिलोसॉफी तो नहीं जानते लेकिन बचपन हमेशा हर किसी में होना ही चाहिए 62 फॉर द लॉस ऑफ थ्री विकेट्स और ये कई सारे लोग हैं जिनका क्रिकेट थोड़ा सा छूट गया था किसी को पैसे बनाने में किसी का करियर बनाने में टाइम रह गया था तो ये मौका है आपको वापस खेलने के लिए तो देखिए प्रॉब्लम हर किसी के होते हैं जिनके पास कम पैसे होते हैं उनको और पैसे कमाने होते और जिनके पास बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं उनको और ज्यादा पैसे कमाने होते और वो जो उम्र होती है जहां पर आपको क्रिकेट खेलना है जहां पे आपको मौका छूट जाता है जब आप अपनी चीजें हासिल कर लेते हो थोड़ा सा स्थैर्य थोड़ी सी स्टेबिलिटी ले आते हो वापस आपको खेलने का मौका देता है ऐसे टूर्नामेंट्स तीन विकेट के नुकसान पर स्कोर है बासठ सिक्सटी टू हल्के हाथों से खेल दिया है एक रन यहां पर जरूर मिलेगा और गुड वर्क से थो, थोड़ा सा वीक था लेकिन कलेक्शन अच्छा किया था 63 for 3 निश्चित क्या बेहतरीन गेंदबाजी की इस गेंदबाज ने पहले ओवर में 10 रन खर्च करने के बाद सात गेंदों में मात्र दो रन और फिर एक बार अच्छी गेंद इस एक रन के साथ स्कोर आगे बढ़ेगा जहां पहुंचेगा अब 63 पर 64 पर माफ कीजिए चौसठ रन तीन विकेट के नुकसान पर 
मिश्रित अपना तीसरा ओवर फेंकते हुए पहले ओवर में दस रन दूसरे ओवर में दो रन तीसरे ओवर में अब तक रन आए हैं दो विकेट चाहिए उनको वॉट अ शॉर्ट गेंद को हवा विद इनफैक्ट नो मैं लैंड मिस टाइम शॉट मुझे लगा कि गेंद काफी दूर जाएगी टाइम अच्छी हुई नहीं थी एंड आउट होते होते बच गए निश्चित ही वुड लाइक द रब ऑफ ग्रीन उनको भाग्य का साथ होना चाहिए रन दो ही तरीके से आते हैं या तो बैट से आते हैं या तो भाग्य से आते हैं तो फिलहाल भाग्य के साथ बल्लेबाज के साथ तीसरा विकेट जा चुका है अच्छी बल्लेबाजी देखिए प्रॉपर क्रिकेटिंग शॉट्स खेल रहे हैं ये बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है जब आप अपनी चीजें यू वेन यू डू योर बेसिक्स राइट जब आप जो बेसिक चीजें वो ठीक से करते हो तो हमेशा 99% ऑफ द टाइम्स आपको कामयाबी जरूर मिलती है और जो चाहिए अपनी टीम के लिए उसके लिए संयम रख रहे हैं वो भी बड़ा हिट लगाकर चौके छक्कों के प्रयास में आउट हो सकते हैं लेकिन वो ग्लैमर इनिंग्स नहीं खेलना चाहते वो अपनी टीम के लिए एक जिम्मेदार इनिंग्स खेलना चाहते हैं और वर्ड अ शॉर्ट बेहतरीन शॉर्ट फील्डिंग उससे भी बेहतरीन और ये यंगस्टर्स का कमाल है ओ माई गॉड कंफ्यूशन और उचित समय पर उनको वापस भेज दिया नहीं तो चौथा विकेट यहां पर मिलने वाला था दस ओवर की समाप्ति पर 66, सिक्स छियासठ तीन विकेट के नुकसान पर एंड टाइम टू हैव अ हाइड्रेशन ब्रेक सारे से विनती करेंगे कि आप ज्यादा से ज्यादा पानी का सेवन कीजिए जो सॉल्ट से उनका इनटेक कीजिए 66 फॉर थ्री एट द एंड ऑफ टेन ओवर्स बिल्कुल वही स्कोर था जो सामने वाली टीम का इनफैक्ट उनके सिक्सटी थे गरवारी क्लब हाउस क्रिकेट कॉर्नी वर्ल्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर स्पेशल थैंक्स टू श्री शरद चंद्र जी पवार प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ गरवारी क्लब हाउस ऑल्सो श्री शायरस भाई गोरीमार ऑनरेबल वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ गरवारी क्लब हाउस श्री मनीष जी अजमेर ऑनरेबल ट्रेशर श्री मोहित चतुर्वेदी जी चेयरमैन ऑफ द क्रिकेट कमेटी श्री कमलेश जी संघवी वाइस चेयरमैन ऑफ द क्रिकेट कमेटी Thank you to all the management committee and the cricket advisory committee. All the guys who have been associated with the club, all the seniors whose advice, whose blessings have been all the time ever present with the committee and the management. Thank you so much, everyone. Also, a special thanks to our sponsors: K Y Y A Jewels, the Sani Brothers, K S Counselors, your mental well-being partner. Thank you so much, all the top brands associated with this tournament. 
that was short that is wide and that is punished had it has gone very high will it go all the distance a couple of runs easily taken two runs that will take the score to 68 see uh, the vikings were 67 in, at the end of 10 overs these guys are 66 so if you compare a beautiful cover a look at the oh, what a shot that was he has threaded the needle almost what a shot that was just a shot lazy push and it has been converted into oh my god oh why did he do that oh my god oh my god and the non strikers was almost 10 feet away from him 7 runs it's a 7 for right sir satta oh my god can you believe it somebody should have called your end oh this has happened in female cricket twice or thrice for the first time seeing that happening in the boys cricket and some of the boys from the same team have enjoyed it that is what you you find happiness in calamity even oh that was so catastrophic it could have been an easy run out good stop great running actually third run wasn't existent oh he was almost one fourth in the other half of the pitch oh no good fortune that is a very good shot for just one run i've seen a satta for a long time after a long time 76 Amit is on 27, and that's beautifully swivelled. Good stop from the fielder. Just a solitary run. Amit moves on to 28. Two runs away from being retired temporarily, I would say. That would be the case, or maybe on the waiting bench. Akshay, he has got nine. He's playing some delightful, crisp shots, a crisp, straight hit for a single. 78 runs on the score card just 46 away they are less than 50 runs needed now they need a couple of wickets beautifully turned away and uh, that's good fielding the direct hit would have resulted in a wicket now they're taking it slightly relaxed they're taking it slightly lazy but things can change the moment you feel the match is won things can change in a jiffy Three for seventy-nine. Amit, a last hit for you. He is on twenty-nine. Seventy-nine runs on the scorecard. Just forty-five needed. Forty-five needed now. Forty-five needed, and uh, change in bowling now. Raj comes in to bowl his first over, and Amit would be facing. his last run he would have to retire temporarily if he gets another hit
just a very long time. The ICC rules, the international rules, the T20 rules allow you 60 seconds between the overs. And that is what we should be following. We follow almost all the rules of ICC. That 60 second rule also has to be kept in mind. That is bludgeoned into that wideish long on region. That will race away. He just had to cover 10 meters. That ball was timed so well. And that's it. That would be his last hit. His last shot was his best shot. What a shot that was. Bludgeoned into that wideish long on region for a very well timed boundary. That was beautifully played. 10 meters towards his left and the ball just won the race. After playing a substantial knock for his team, a classy innings comes to an end. The only shot where he put some force was the last ball of his innings. Otherwise, it was all silken touch for Amit. A batsman who believes in grace and delicate touch gets a very, very delightful 33 runs. 83 runs on the scorecard. And these guys just need 41. They need some magic. They need somebody to do something special. They need a Jaspreet Bumra. They need a Ravi Chandran Ashwin. They need a Ravindra Jadeja to get them back now. 41 needed. They need a couple of wickets in double quick time. So all smiles right now, joy, happiness, elation in Mohit Chaturvedi and Harsh's camp. And they know the result is just in their sights. Things can change, sir. Things can change. Never celebrate too early. But the happy mood is needed even in wins or defeats. That is a beautiful punch of the back foot. Beautifully played to get off the mark. Nikunj gets off the mark with a fantastic back foot punch. 84 for 3. Exactly 40 needed. 40 needed in the remaining 52. Raj. Raj needs to pick a couple of wickets for his team. Oh, that's a chance. Will Raj take it? Oh, brilliant. Very well bowled by Raj. Creating the chances. Valiant effort. 85 for 3. Eighty-five for three. And uh, he has conceded six. Boundary of the very first ball. It was a good ball which was hit for a boundary. Gangsters on their march. The mafias are moving with style now. The run mafia they are. Oh, that was hit with brute force. In fact, uh, wasn't well timed. 86 for three. The gangsters, they may be the gangsters of the cricketing world. The way they have approached this game, the attitude was just to attack in batting, bowling, fielding. Vikings, they have to find a way to come back. Fight till the last ball. That's it hard. That's racing away. And uh, that's great running. They have converted a single into a couple. A couple that will take the score to 88. And the target down to 36. Thirty-six of forty-nine. The number of runs are thirteen less than the number of balls which are remaining. But that has to be a cakewalk now. They need a bunch full of wickets. Two or three in a jiffy.
played eight soft hands for a single. A single that will take the score to 89. So 89 for the loss of three wickets at the end of 12 overs. 23 runs in the last two overs. Eight overs and 35 runs to win. So 35 needed in the next eight overs. Four and a half runs per over needed. Will Neeraj Dalal create magic in his last over? In fact, it is Kapil who is bowling now. Neeraj. Yes, Neeraj bowling his last over. He has already taken a couple of wickets. They expect him to take another minimum. Akshay. That was way too short. Akshay hits it into that mid-wicket cow corner region for a single. A single that will take the score to 90 and the target down to 34. They want to finish this in a jiffy. There is an amusement park towards the left and if you go straight backwards Mumbai wise there is uh, Ekvira Mata's temple and if you go in the other direction there is Kamshet and Pune and if you go to the other side of the mountains there is Takvegao. So it is up to you whether to go to the goddess, to the amusement park, to the city for shopping or to enjoy the mountains. Each one on his own. There is a famous Jain temple also, just four kilometers away from here. He went for the big sweep shot. He is caught right in front of the wicket. He is flummoxed, but he has to go back. Every time you play a cross batted shot, the umpires are almost like those strict judges of Supreme Court. They will penalize and punish and give you out. Akshay, that was leg before the wicket. He went for that uh, sweep shot. Oh, good call. The ball moved, went the other way. Not one, not two. A vociferous appeal, getting him his third wicket. Look at the excitement on Neeraj's face. He still believes that they can win. Hope and belief are two important words. We generally hope to win, but hoping to win actually never comes to some uh, positive end. When you believe, then you win. So hope and belief are two similar words, but belief is a stronger word, more stronger word, more firmer word, a word which can get you to that win. A slight hope with that wic wicket, but they need to believe that they can win with that wicket. So the skipper is going to have his way now and uh, the skipper started with the ball in his hand and the skipper will try and finish with the bat in his hand. Harry goes into face Neeraj who is in red hot form, got three wickets. Well, that was flighted generously. The ball hit between the fielder at mid-wicket and long on. The captain opens the account. One, one, one is the number on his back. 
The Nelson has struck thrice. He has got three wickets. Neeraj Dalal. Played with soft hands and they sneak and steal a single. That is robbery in daylight. There wasn't a run in it. The non-striker just stole it. Neeraj is not happy with the fielding. But can't complain. These are his own men. He's gasping for breath. His body is not supporting but his heart... He is a lion hearted fellow. He wants to take one more. He is gasping for breath, but he is breathing fire also. That is also a case. He wants a wicket. And that is not a great ball. 93. But run rate also would be a major factor. So they would try to finish this off. Amit was playing good. Maybe Amit would have gone. We also have Mr. Vista here and uh, a renowned coach. I would not say Jay Vista's dad. I would say Jay Vista is Vista sir's son. That would be his identity because he is the man who is more important to us. The Garwari Clubhouse owns a lot of respect and uh, so many, uh, the ball has just skittled away. Uh, he wants a second, he gets a second. He was vigilant for the second. Oh, Neeraj, so much fire in him, so much uh, aggression in him. And that is always needed in a team. 95 runs at the end of 13 overs, 4 wickets down. Amit would be anticipating to come back and bat again. 7 overs and... Uh, they need 29. I just asked Mr. Bista, what is the most important thing when you are with your players who are less experienced? He said, you should share whatever knowledge you get because sharing is caring. That is what he said. You should pass on the knowledge of whatever you have learned from your seniors, whatever the game has taught you so that the knowledge, the baton passes on. And... Uh, when you do business, money is exchanged. But when you exchange ideas, two ideas are exchanged. The knowledge is exchanged and you get more empowered.
Neeraj Dalal uh, bowling his last over. 19 needed now, 19 needed in uh, four and a half overs. Lot of overs to get, very little runs. Uh, he almost shoveled it. A very indifferent looking shot, but gets him a single. The score moves on to 106. Vikings started off uh, in a great style. Uh, the first few shots were 6 4 4, 15 runs in the first four balls. And after that, anti climax. 15 runs in the next five overs after that. And things changed drastically. That's beautifully bold. Just trying to get a wicket. He wants one more. He's almost like that 10-year-old boy who is not happy with a few chocolates. He wants a whole assortment of chocolates. He all wants a whole packet. The last ball. Will he get the fourth? Uh, he dearly wanted it. But not everything what you desire you get. 106 for 4 at the end of 15 overs. And the equation, very simple. 18 needed. 18 needed in the next 5 overs. 18 is the legitimate age to vote. Don't forget to vote on the 20th of May. But right now, it is 18 in the next 30. Manish Bhai, 20th May is the day. Remember, 20th May is the day to vote. Right now, it is the day to perform. Thirty balls in which to get eighteen runs. Yes, the food counter is open. So most of you guys, in fact all of us, we love food counter is open, so you can have your food. You always need that good fuel. Cannot be loading up a uh, petrol car with a diesel one. So eat the right food for yourself. Dot delivery. Raj, will he get a wicket? A left arm spinner. That was way outside the off stump. The umpire declares it as a wide. In, they are inching closer now. 70 needed. They need to expect it. They would like to win it in style. Not to just uh, move there slowly. But uh, get it in style like that. That is hammered into that mid-wicket cow corner. They just get a single. But the idea was right to get a few shots in. When you get an opportunity to play on a very good ground, almost scenic surroundings, you should maximize it. Why to play those small little shots? Why not go for those big shots? Why not uh, test your own cricketing or hitting ability? Akshay and Harshal. Harshal, the skipper has got everything right for him and his team today. His team has bowled well, fielded well, and now they are batting well. 108 runs on the scorecard. That's very well bowled. In fact, that is the wicket for the left-arm bowler. And uh, was the collection fine? That was the only question. 108 and one more wicket falls. And these guys are crazy. They do not want to give... A yes, that is better. Amit, kiti batting karnar. That's fine. You've got your quota done now. Money and batting. Like, how much ever it comes to your way, you always welcome it, right? Absolutely. The strike and uh, the amount of money credited in your bank is always welcome. Amit was almost moving at a speed of 240 when he was asked to come and bat. He was almost like Matrix, moving at the great pace and he was sent back immediately. And that was a good move actually. Why not give opportunities to everybody to bat? Because when the crunch situation comes, 
these guys, if they have to score six of six, all of them should be in touch. Just 16 needed now. The skipper. That's beautifully played. That is what the left-hander brings to the table. What a beautiful shot. That is a good stop. But not before they take a couple of runs an inch closer to the first victory of uh, Garware Clubhouse Cricket Carnival 2024. Match number one. The gangsters are on their way to rule the roost. They are on their way to get their first victory in the first match of this six days of entertaining cricket. But that was so close to being out. Why you did not collect the ball? So they are almost moving like IPL now. They will start off with Lunaula and uh, then Police Jimkana, then uh, Parsi Jimkana, and sir, finally in another venue, maybe Police Jimkana again. So they would be moving around places and enjoying and having some fun. 2021st would be here in Lunaula. Then they will go back to Mumbai and play on 27th. Then on the 1st of May, where everybody is going to have and enjoy their holidays. These guys are going to enjoy cricket. And on 5th of May, we'll get the champions of Garwari Clubhouse uh, Cricket Carnival 2024. 11 needed now. 11 needed. Anch. Yes, sir. Khana lag chuka hai. Jo jinho ne khana nahi khaya hai, please come and have. Guys, those who haven't taken or ha had their lunch, please do have. 113 runs on the scorecard. The young man is called into bowl. Oh, the, with, at this age and that pace, that is brilliant. But the pace has worked against him. We'll wait for the umpire's decision and what the call is. In fact, it has just stopped there. And uh, a couple of Runs. Oh my God, they steal the third. A three for on the very first ball. The young man, uh, considering his age, is bowling the ball with a great pace. No doubt he is selected for that under 14 uh, Mumbai team. Kayan. 13 year old, 12 and a half, 13 year old young man, the, the bones still to develop, but a lot of fire in his heart and more than the body, his desire to do well. His, that is nicely bowled. It's no ball though for overstepping such a small kid. How did he overstep? Three runs added to the total. A couple of runs and a no ball. So two, six runs in the very first ball. Free hit and a chance to get close to victory. In fact, a sixer can win it for them. A boundary will get the scores on level. But I strongly believe Kayan will get a dot ball. He might bowl a very good ball against a very good batter. Anch. Oh, he bowls a wonderful Yorker. Wide Yorker. All those virtues of bowling those wide Yorkers where the international bowlers try a lot. That's a perfectly bowled wide Yorker. A bye. That is not the symbol of any political party. 
it is a single of a bye 120 runs for the loss of five wickets that is beautifully done there is protection though mahindra singh dhoni fielding there a single that will take the score to 1 to 1 that's his jersey number and everyone loves you and even one stars five for 1 to 1 a boundary needed to win here three runs in fact will do it will kayan pick a wicket Oh, that's a basic error. He, you are expected to get those. He was in an awkward position. That is the reason he wasn't able, able to pick up that ball. And uh, it was on the half wall, which is always difficult to pick. But you need, you expect him to take those. Two needed. Kayan, another opportunity to get that W in that over. Will he do that against the captain of the opposition? He has got 14 runs. The captain has done his part. That's drifting down the leg side. That would be game, set and match if they get it. Yes. Not the ideal way to get the victory. But runs, they are welcome. Money and runs from any source are always welcome. 124 is what they get. And uh, that's the first victory. The gangsters uh, have uh, stamped their authority. They have won the first encounter against uh, the Vikings. Vikings, they will have to come back strongly. They will have to tie those loose ends. They will have to work on their mistakes, do some introspection and come back and enjoy the next match. And definitely, uh, there would be the senior members, Neeraj and others, maybe Janak, everyone will get together, make a resilient effort and come back strongly in this tournament. Let's wait for it. Even the umpires had yellow jersey, but still that couldn't work.
Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, check. Hello, check. Teams, please be foundation. Check, check. Check. Yes, Shanil and uh, Hush, two very good captains. Let's hear it for both the teams, actually. Both the captains and both the teams, you played some great brand of cricket. See, the result may not have been ideal for both teams. Uh, the other team lost, but there were some magical moments. One of the catch was from, it was a fantastic catch on the boundary. He deserves a round of applause. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. Check, check. Yes. Let's, uh, without much ado, let's uh, start with the presentation. Uh, some great catches, some fantastic battings. Both the captains doing their bit. The result may not have been on your side. Time hello, for you hello, to come hello, back hello. strongly. Now we'll uh, start with the team player of the match from, uh, I would say, the losing side or the team which was second best. The also bowled really well. Gave it and led from front, tried to induce all that confidence. It has to be Shanil Shah. It was very close between Shanil and and let's hear it for the captain. It's not easy for the captain to hold on when the team is not doing that great. But they will come back strongly. Take my word. They will come back. Yes, sir. the player of the match without an iota of the doubt, the man who played a very good knock and uh, he was retired temporarily and he wanted to come back again and bat like a small 10-year-old. Man of the match, 
there is a legendary cricketer in tennis ball cricket in maharashtra and in india that is krishna satpute but here it is amit satpute who gets it well played amit it was a very good knock and is going to take the blessings from the first of the game thanks to us and you have a chance to make a check, comeback check hello thank you so much we'll just keep it short because we want to have some live action running thank you so much bistar sir thank you so much mohit chaturvedi sir and that's it let's go to the next match where we'll have the scorpions and the sharks on show